If you are looking for ways to create a stacked waterfall chart in Excel, then this video will be useful for you. A stacked waterfall chart helps visualize the gradual changes of factors over time clearly. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I'm Sharhiyar Abdul Rafid and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a stacked waterfall chart in Excel. So let's roll up our slips and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Here, we have this dataset containing the records of the change in prices of product X from the year 2015 to year 2021. Firstly, I need to modify the dataset by adding some values after calculation. For this purpose, I have to add an extra column named start line prior to the base value column. Right click on the column header C and select insert from the context menu. Instantly, it will insert a new column in between the period and base value column. Name this column start line. Now, I'll insert a formula in the second cell of the start line column, which is the C6 cell corresponding to the year 2016. Place an equal sign, select cell E5. It will link up the value of increment in cell E5 to cell C6. Press enter. Apply another formula in next cell C7. Plus an equal sign, select cell C6 plus cell D6 plus cell E6. Here, cell C6, D6 and E6 are the values of the start line, base value and increment columns of row 6, which is of the PO 2016. Press enter and drag down the fill handle tool up to cell C10. In this way, we have copied the formula all over these cells. We have completed our calculation within the period 2020. We'll add up all of the values of the base value and increment columns by using a formula in cell E11. Plus equal sign, insert the sum function. As the number one argument, I'll select the range D5 to E10. Close the parenthesis. Here, the sum function will add up all of the values in the D5 to E10 range. After pressing enter, I've got the total value of 55,680 as the 2021 end price. Now, I'll insert a stacked column chart. To do this, select data in the B4 to E11 range. Then, go to the insert tab. In the charts group of commands, click on insert column or bar chart drop down icon. Select 2D stacked column option. Now you can see the stacked column chart before us. Now I'll modify the following chart to make it look like the stacked waterfall chart. Firstly, we'll hide the start line series from the stacked column chart. Select the start line series and then right click on it. Click on the fill drop down icon and then select no fill option. In this way, I have made the start line series invisible. Here we can see that the color of the 2015 starting price column and 2021 end price column is similar to the increment series. So we have to change the color of these two columns to differentiate them as they are quite different from the increment series. Double click on the 2015 starting series, then right click here. Click on the fill drop down and then select any color. Here. I'm selecting the red color. Look, the color of this column has changed. Similarly, you can change the color of the 2021 end price column. Now, we'll increase the width of the columns of the chart to make them more clear. Select any series of the chart and right click here. Choose the format data series option on the context menu. The format data series task pane appears. In the series options section, go to the gap width option. Decrease the gap width from 150% to 25%. And here's how the chart looks finally. Remember, visualizing data helps us make better decisions and spot trends quickly. In this tutorial, we have shown three useful steps to create a stacked waterfall chart in Excel. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. 
or you can have a glance at exceldemy.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.